is our Tabu Manta 2020. This is our full, full on racing um, range. Those boards are made for races from World Cup to national and local races or guys who really want to race their friends. Um, on those boards we have three, three different groups. We have the group of the light wind boards which are the 85 and 77. Those boards uh, have for goal to, um, to have early planning, quick acceleration, going through wind holes, all the things you need in, uh, in light wind. Then we have the group of the 71 and 66, which are the medium board, where the, where the goal is um, acceleration, uh, top speed and some control. And then we have the small board, the 61 and 59, where the goal is uh, a lot of control, good jibing and for sure some top speed. Um, those boards come in uh, two construction, the 100% carbon, that we have on the light wind and the medium board where we need stiff board. This 100% full carbon is a full sandwich, carbon deck and carbon bottom that get very stiff board. And we have the um, carbon flex that we use on the smaller board where we want a construction that is more forgiving, a little bit less stiff in the rough con con conditions. And um, on those, it's also full sandwich with uh, Biax carbon on deck and um, glass on the bottom. So the Manta come in the following size. We have 85, 77, 71, 66, 61 and 59. So this is a new Manta 2020. Uh, all the boards are new shape. Uh, we improve the stability of the board and the control of the board. So that means now you can be concentrated only on your racing and on your uh, capacity to go fast without being worried about what's happening if a gust arrives. So that means in comparison to previous years, you can put the full stop a little bit more in the back and this will not affect the trim of the board. Uh, concerning the stance, it's not too big. So if you are tall, you can put for sure the full stop a little bit more far away from each other. Uh, but this is really personal. Ross and me, for example, we don't sail at all with the same position. Full strap because I'm a little bit shorter than him. So in general, I have my full strap at the second hole from the back and also second hole from the back when Ross at the maximum stance thanks to the big tall body. Um, concerning mass truck position this is super important on a slalom board because this is going to affect all the trim of your board. Um, it's really dependent to which kind of cell you are using and which kind of brand. Uh, gas truck cell basically they have a little bit of back end so I will suggest to always put the mass truck on the middle or sometime more in the front to still have a good control and also when the gust arrives so you're gonna accelerate flat. If you have some cells who are more front power, so this cell in general they feel a little bit more heavier and more pulling you forward so you can put the mass track a little bit more on the back to still get flat and not have too much weight on the nose of the board. But one more time, this is really personal and there is no fixed rule. If you feel stable and good, just go on the water and practice your jibing. And if you need to tune in, play a little bit with the mass track and then with the full strap.